This one's original, yeah. Some sets from Lost before were not original. They were they were also still in design, but they were like mini size. They haven't done that for a long time. They really spread out and like doing their own theme now. Just so you know, Laws on my store is super popular. Right, we sold so many flowers, dim sum sets, like crazy man. Howdy folks! Welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty Hoy. You're watching Beamus! where we like to review alternative bricks and sometimes mini bricks like this. We just looked at the Ballady one. That video should have been out by now. Now we're back to Laws. Yes, Laws. I have no idea if this is old or new. I can't even tell with sets anymore. They're coming out in and out so quickly. But uh, these were just recently put on our store, which is available at bigmapscotty.com. There's this one and there's a bigger one. This is the Hong Kong Street style scene. Oh, let me just tell you what it is right now. What we're looking at today is Laws' Hong Kong Street series. This one specifically is the pharmacy. 1053. 2,111 pieces. Now how does it look so far? If you're into mini size bricks, these are smaller than Lego brick size. Trust me, this is the Lego brick size. This is my dimension size bricks. There's a one by four brick on top. It is very deceiving. I remind people all the time. I'm trying to be very clear. But some of you like to jump the gun and just buy it because it looks so good thinking it's standard brick size and they're not. This is one part of the building. There's 1052, which I did get, but I sent it out to a customer and like, oh, maybe I should just get one for myself and show you there. There's the corner building. It's much bigger too. But anyway, this is what we're looking at today. Laws does not do any printing on their manuals. It's so weird, man. They don't put the model number. They don't put the name. It's just straight up the picture. Why? And then like, they don't want to get caught for anything. So it's just like a picture of the building. I'm pretty sure that probably is it, even though these guys are not standard brick size. Is it easy to follow the manual? It sure is very easy to follow. Did I have any issues with this one? A lot of you have issues with laws, depending on like if it's an older set, if it has a lot of circular parts. I had zero issues with this one. I thought it was a lot of fun to put together. One thing I did not like about this set though, it has a ton of stickers, man. Like everything that you see is a sticker. There's zero prints on the set. Oh, you know what? They're, I could correct myself. The air conditioning, the air conditioner and the clocks are prints and a couple of wood pieces. But as far as I know, the majority of what you're seeing are stickers and that kind of sucks. Gotta use the stickers, man. Don't use the stickers. It won't look so Asian like. I mean, I guess you can not, don't have to use it, but you'll want to use the stickers. You get three little mini figures that have bendable knees, which I hate too but they look fine and you get a little food cart there. Here's a look at the front. I absolutely love the detailed work. Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff going on. It looks really good. Is it Hong Kong style to you? Yeah. It's kind of like mixed, right? It's like old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good, right? Ida was really impressed when she saw it at home. She's like, yeah, yeah. yo, this looks really good. And she loves the inside, the interior. There's definitely a good amount of detail going on. Anywhere you look at this, looks really good. And you know what? It looks really nice and small. So you don't have to get complex. If you just like, I have no space for regular brick size, give Lost a chance, man. It's intimidating when you open a bag. It's like you got tons of bags to open up. I swear to you, if you have a nice little tray or a little box and you pour all the bags into the one box, like bag one, number one, right? It's got like 10 little bags. It's really easy to find these pieces than when you're doing a bigger set. I don't know what it is, but I can, with one look in my eyes, I can find the pieces really fast. You'll get it in no time. But both sides of the wall look amazing. And because the stacks against the other set, you're not gonna see the back or the other side, but just to show you, I guess the unfortunate part is it's still open. We're looking at another open back here. And there's a side of the wall there. At least you have some windows. Right now you can do on the first floor. So anyway, first thing here, it really reminds me of those mini buildings like keeply standard size brick ones that are kind of like this size, but this has a lot of detail. You got tiled floor there, little trash can here. It's a little bit loose. Door, some windows, the signs there. What does the sign say, Chris? Lun Ta. Lun Ta Po. Oh, the herbal tea. Herbal tea shop. And there's more little signs up here. I think it's second floor. Second floor, yeah, it must be right. For the school. Yeah, school. school. See, I can't read Chinese, but what a shame. I wish I did, but anyway, still have time. I'll learn from my son. There's the pharmacy sign there. 
and there's the entrance so it has a side entrance there countertop oh, it's like the pharmacy it's like old school pharmacy right it's like all the herbal chinese medicine ginseng what like dried mushrooms like all the dried stuff yeah so it's like old school style there and this is the location cheng shawan we know this place right yeah well oh, definitely based in hong kong we'll see the inside a lot more don't worry but there's a little sneak peek there and we already saw this side here Got a couple of posters there. They are offset stickers. Look pretty good, but ah, stickers, man, damn it. Drive me nuts. And then we go to the second floor on the front. You got the school. This might be a little bit flimsy, a little bit. Oh, I'll do it like bend it up a little bit. You can fix that, don't worry. You got some clothes hanging out there, which is very typical Hong Kong style. What's the sign up here? It's like an apartment. Oh, again, right there. Wow, okay, we got the metal. Metal? Yeah. Really? Is that a work up? I don't see anything. Wall? No. Third floor is just like an apartment. Maybe it's just like an advertising sign there. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of air conditionings, which is really cool. I like the little flowers there and the windowsill. Very nice touch. That looks cool, man. Yeah. A lot of little like those cylinder pieces going as rails. Mm -hmm. But it's a very nice look and nice touch. You can actually kind of see a third floor there. Looks very cool. I like the old school windows here. Lots of little pipes hanging there and the sign. That's definitely the pharmacy sign. This Rooftop piece. That truly again, damn it, next door. Okay, and look at the windows on the second and third floor. Very basic stuff. Now we come up to the rooftop. I love how they did the little awning and the detail on that looks really good. You have a couple of street lights on the top. You got some clothes hanging there. You have this little table with a cat and a drink so you can come up here, have your snacks, rooftop party, little flower garden there. And you have this little tiny shed with a little bit tricky to put that piece on. But it has a couple of flaps there. Those are all stickers and another sticker on the back of that. But very interesting rooftop. I like that. So now we're going to take this thing apart. And I'm going to talk about the detail. Does it all come off easily? We'll start with the top first. Let's see. If I push it up. Oh. Here we go. Is it modular style? Not really. The rooftop isn't. It's like brick pieces there. I kind of wish that was a little bit easier to put together. But... All the studs are exposed here and there, but it wasn't too bad. Nothing came off the floor. The other floors, however, do come off much easier. Except, you gotta make sure and be careful. Take the sign off there. That's the third floor. Second floor come off like that. Oh, there's another figure here, Chris. I missed one. There got four figures for the set. Sorry, excuse me. I was wrong. Okay, second floor there. Oh, the signs are all coming off. Okay, so all the floors come off pretty easy except for the rooftop, so you do have to be careful for that. Now we're getting like really tiny and small here. The nice thing about having to open back for a mini brick size, standard brick, I can understand that they should close it, but this is pretty easy to get your hands inside. When you come inside, you got the cash register area for the shop, the pharmacy, old school style, scale weight. There are studs on the floor that you can put your figure on. I like the pattern of the floor. On this side of the wall, you got all the medicine. Those are all stickers that are wrapping around the top pieces of the shelf. Nothing inside the drawers. You do have a flower pot here on the side. More stickers there, some signs, and one above the door. And in the middle, you have this table area here. They're all stickers on this and the little white pot. And I noticed like stickers going over curves or around things they always peel off, man. Kind of sucks, but anyway. It looks nice there. And then you come to the open window area that we saw from the outside. This is just the other angle for you to see. It looks like more medicine. And I think those are like bowls along the countertop and more stickers and signs of different kinds of medicines, I guess. So Chris is just reminding me that all the signs that you see are just like good luck. That most of the Chinese shops will hang on the signs inside their shop. And I like this part though, where it's like, kind of double pillar, like a little walkway to go through. Mm. It just gives it a little bit more detail. You have like more lanterns up here. And just overall, I like the brick style and the brick look. This this floor is actually pretty cool. It is pretty sturdy right there. There's a top down view for you to see. Something feels like it's missing here, but I guess that's just the design of it. Then we come to the second floor here. Now this sign piece just barely fits across. It could pop off on you. It's fallen off so many times just now. You can try to like stretch out the pipe and make it fit better. But we already seen the outside here. I like how the color tone totally changes from the bottom gray. To now we're going to this beige look. 
And what is this? We mentioned this is the school classroom. What do I think? Very cool, it's all tiled. I enjoyed putting this room together. So when you come inside, which you, there's no way to walk up in this place. You just gotta go from the back or the outside. They're all the tables and chairs, they're all designed the same way. They look great, but those are all stickers of like the books, calculators on the table. You got a couple of bags. I thought the bags were actually really cute. And I like this blackboard area. Damn it, Chris, all stickers. But it looks good. And you got the teacher's desk there. You can fit one teacher back there. And then you just have a flower and a cabinet on the other side. And it has some little things inside, like books, I guess. You know, I like this room quite a lot. I like how it's all totally different. They didn't copy it. And you can see it's like, it's maxed out, man. It's full. And you just put it on very easily. Just line it up like this. Easy to put back together. Then we look at this floor, which Chris said it was a metal. Well, the sign is like metal making, yeah. right? But it's actually just an apartment there. It is all tiled. The colors are kind of off, like pink couches. Is it like 70s style? Yes, yeah, so I guess it's kind of like old school really style, old right? Style. So when you come into this room, you got the two pink sofas. Those are stickers on the cushion. You got this table in the middle with the remote control and like newspapers there. Got plenty of pictures along the wall, background of beautiful mountains, more signs, stickers, except for the clock. Got a plant there and lights. And you come to the TV entertainment center, which is really cool. Look what's on TV, man. The Zero Bar, girls. I'm just guessing, man. Remember the Zero Bar that I reviewed? It looks like them anyway. But I like the entertainment center there and I like the cabinet underneath. I thought that was pretty cool. The same trash can that we saw outside earlier. And that's the third floor for you. So if I put this on here, go like this. Easy to stack together, man. We finally come up to this rooftop that you saw earlier, but just to show you there, my hands, the size, very enjoyable build. And I actually put this set together really fast. I guess if you want to put this on here, you just line the back all together. They don't really show you, but I guess you just line this all straight. So that's how you can find their footing there of how to put this on. These stop lights or these lights on top tend to fall off a little bit. I gotta like stick it on good here. And there we go. Pretty cool, right? Now let's look at the figures, which Chris will show you in the close up. You have two girls and you have two guys. The ladies look really good. I like the printing. One looks like it's going to school. The other one, who knows, maybe lives in the upper floor. And then you got two guys. Very expressive. They're mild. The guy in the white chung some outfit is the one that works in the Chinese pharmacy. The other dude looks like he wants to go to sleep. And last but not least is the food cart. The food cart is actually really cute. It was fun to put together, but damn it, man. Again, stickers on the awning. Sticker on the food menu sign. Sticker on the little circles there. But the overall build of the little cart with the wheels on it is pretty good. There, the little tiny baby wheels. It rolls just fine. All right, so we're getting more and more laws. Maybe soon I'll get the laws base plate. A lot of you guys have been asking whether or not we can source laws as base plates. We sure can. Loose bricks? Yes, laws, we can get them. We don't have them on the store because not a lot of you are not a ton of you are requesting it, but there are a few of you requesting it. And when I get those, we can start to do dimensions on these guys for now. Just know that this is a very small set. It's a beautiful set. This one is more fun than the Balladie one just because it has more detail to it. It's more modern style compared to that. But all the mini brick stuff so far have been really, really good. There might be a couple of that might trick you or might throw you off of how to build them. But I had so much fun doing this one. That's it for laws. If you want more laws sets, let me know. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know I'll be back. Yes. Until next time, you guys. Break me out. Yeah.
in the car. Come here.